What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video I have some good news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on 14.5.1 and lower, especially on the A12 devices. So a brand new POC for a vulnerability has been released by EMB of Google Project Zero. We're gonna get into that. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to manage the data on your phone like photos, videos, music and so on. You can also perform backups to your device and selective backups only to the files you care about. So check it out in the link below. There's going to be a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS. So a couple of hours ago, the Project Zero bugs posted, quote, XNU network stack kernel heap overflow due to out of bounds mem move in six low pan. And they posted a link to the chromium.org where the Google Project Zero basically describes their vulnerabilities and so on. And this one is indeed by Ian Beer of Google Project Zero. Ian has released a lot of vulnerabilities in the past that we used for Uncover or for Yalu or for many other jailbreaks that have been released during the year. Years. So they do have a history with releasing great vulnerabilities. Now there's a lot of confusion around this vulnerability. So let me clear things up for you so that you know where we are. So this is not a kernel exploit that has been released. It's a kernel vulnerability. It's a POC or proof of concept. The code, which is a proof of concept, has been released and it's available here. But what this code does is to trigger the vulnerability and not necessarily exploit it. So with this, you can write an exploit, but that's not provided by default in here. Now Ian basically found this on macOS and they tested this on macOS. And as you probably know, macOS and iOS are basically the same thing, just different architectures and some features that are present on iOS and not on macOS and vice versa. But at their core, they're basically very, very similar and they are built on top of one another. So if there's a vulnerability in the XNU part of the macOS, there are chances it's going to be present in iOS and tvOS as well. That's really the case. It says in here that this vulnerability was fixed in iOS 14.6 and if you do copy the CVE number here, every vulnerability that's reported gets a CVE number and if you go here on the security the content of 14.6 you can indeed find it it says in here kernel and it says an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges and it says EMB of Google Project Zero it's basically a buffer overflow so the vulnerability is real and it's present on iOS but they found it on macOS and the proof of concept code that they posted is for Mac as for the iOS they see here quote I'm pretty sure all the bits needed for this are present on iOS it looks like if fake is there but that is left as an exercise for you dear reader. So the code itself, the proof of concept that was posted, addresses XNU on Mac OS. However, somebody with enough skill on this can indeed port it to iOS. However, that may not be as easy as it sounds because iOS has sandbox and stuff like that. So accessing things from the sandbox may not be that easy. Is this exploitable? Yes, you can exploit it and you possibly can exploit it on iOS as well, but it may not be what we need. Well, as I said, after this announcement in here, many Twitter accounts like JB and stuff like that have posted that, well, it's a brand new kernel exploit, it's what we need for a jailbreak, it's, we're going to get a jailbreak and stuff like that. Well, it's not that simple. Not every kernel vulnerability can be used that easily for a jailbreak. And in fact, security researcher Modern Poner came with a clarification. They said, quote, six low pan bug looks problematic to trigger from the iOS sandbox context. Even after successful trigger, there are some pains in the ass regarding mbuffs allocator logic. This involves some unstable technique to get at least 10% exploit win rate. So it's not like it's impossible to use this for a jailbreak. We can use this for a jailbreak. There may be a new technique necessary in order to exploit it. It might be exploitable. It may not. So things aren't exactly that easy on iOS, but they have never been. To be brutally honest with you, iOS has always been a little bit tougher to exploit than macOS. So I'm pretty sure somebody will figure things out, especially since the write-up in here contains everything you need to know about where the vulnerability is and stuff like that. But this may need network adapter stuff, so it's probably not the best thing to use in a jailbreak. So even though the vulnerability itself looks promising, it's a kernel vulnerability and is present on iOS, it has only been patched on 14.6. While it can be used as a last resort, people may try to exploit it as a last resort if we can't get anything better. According to Modern Poner, it's pretty hard to exploit from the sandbox context and even if you are successful to trigger it there are some pains in the rear regarding the technique which only gives like 10% exploit win rate. So we may never use this for Uncover or for Torin but you should know that this is there. It was released. We're starting to get releases now for vulnerabilities that were patched in 14.6 which means that they would work for 14.5.1 and lower which is great news because this one may not be very very useful but we may get others that are. The security content of 14.6 is 
huge. So this is not the only vulnerability. It's not the only kernel vulnerability. You can see there are more here. So we might get something better in the near future. But yeah, this one was released. We can try to use it as a last resort if we don't get anything better. But I'm confident we will get something better in the near future. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.